What's up, y'all? Just a little quick one here, real quick. Um, the FBI showed up at the house of laundries today again, searching for DNA again. The lawyer came out and said they came to get Brian's DNA, but I thought that's what they did on Sunday. So, and they need more DNA. So, there's two scenarios playing out here. Either they came out on Twitter, they were saying that uh, possibly that they got the parents' DNA. It was cheek swabs because they were carrying a cooler, but why would you need a cooler uh, to carry cheek swabs? You normally, you can send that stuff in the mail to ancestry.com and not a problem. No refrigeration needed. Um, two scenarios I see playing out in this situation right here. Either A, they came Sunday to get DNA and they went to the camper and searched the camper. They came Sunday, got the to get DNA on Sunday uh, during the time of the memorial for Gabby and they probably did what anybody should do is they come here and we want DNA for this and that and uh, Gabby, uh, Brian's parents probably called a lawyer said what do we do the lawyer probably said tell them you want a warrant you don't give up any DNA without a warrant and so they left now, today they come back with the warrant and said, hey, we got a warrant. Give us the DNA. Because I don't see why coming twice would, would matter. The only other scenario is there was a weird chopper pattern in the swamp today. I mean, very heavy, weird pattern that the choppers were flying. And I think maybe a body was discovered today. They found several bodies in the swamp since they've been searching. And maybe... They wanted the parents' DNA in order to uh, identify a body. But, here's the problem with that. If they already had Brian's DNA from the other day, they wouldn't need more DNA from the parents. Hmm. So it's kind of hinky. It's kind of fishy. I've been keeping a, uh, watching it, seeing what's going on today. Uh, so far, not much besides the FBI showing up and the fight yesterday. And baby Lisa has been quiet on Twitter. Really quiet. And that's suspicious to me. Something's going down on, in that arena because Lisa has been so quiet. Uh, she liked something and, and retweeted something. But that, um, I, I, I think her silence is strategic. I, I, I really do. I really believe she's, because it's been brought up that if Brian is being tipped off somehow, or knows what's going on, then uh, if you're watching Lisa's Twitter, you would know their movements and giving away your strategy. And so maybe that's why she's silent. I think something's about to, about to happen because of the FBI showing up again today at the house and then with Lisa being silent, something is about to go down. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a day. And that's how it's going to work. It, this this may go cold on the news networks for a while and chill. But then as soon as something happens, it's going to come back full force. Big bang for a day or two. But uh, I got some more stuff to say. I just want to bring up this thing about the DNA collection at the camper. About the laundry house, the FBI showing up there. Just my little take on it, my two cents. Uh, speculation here. Right now, I'm not saying any facts, speculation, alleged allegations, that's it, I'm just speculating, uh, but America is the greatest country on earth, y'all have a good one.